we have developed a composite phenotype scoring system for the evaluation of disease severity and progression in mouse models of cerebellar ataxia. We perform four different tests, the ledge test, hind limb clasping, gait, and kyphosis, using a scale of 0 to 3 for each test for a combined score of 0 to 12 for all four measures. The ledge test is performed to directly measure coordination. Hind limb clasping is a marker of disease progression in a number of mouse models of neurodegeneration. Gait is a measure of coordination and muscle function. Kyphosis is curvature of the spine in the cervicothoracic region common in mouse models of motor system and spinocerebellar neurodegeneration. We perform each test and record the score. The average sum of the four scores, or the average composite phenotype score, is calculated for each mouse group and plotted. When applying this protocol to different mouse models, it is important to first analyze the scores of the individual tests to determine the ideal combination of the four described measures. This specific protocol was designed to discriminate between affected and non-affected individuals while also quantifying the progression of disease phenotype in mouse models of spinocerebellar ataxia type 7. Hi, I'm Stephanie Furr from the laboratory of Dr. Gwen Garden in the Department of Neurology at the University of Washington. Today we will show you a simple and sensitive method for evaluating disease severity in mouse models of cerebellar ataxia. We use this procedure in our laboratory to quantify phenotypic differences in mouse models of spinocerebellar ataxia type 7 or SCA7 and to follow the progression of the SCA7 phenotype over time. So let's get started.